here coming to you guys with a My Father's World Kindergarten Haul. And um, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys, I've already done one of these haul videos for my oldest, but I've had more kids since then. Um, God, God is so amazing, guys. Like, I was always promised I wouldn't have another one, and I just had another one and another one. So I'm just so, I'm so grateful um, to have more children to homeschool. So I first start this video off, I started recording this video, then I stopped because I was like, let me go gather everything. And in the midst of gathering everything, I found stuff that I did not know I had. Then I had to go apologize to my husband because I was like, I did, didn't have these things. So I bought them and I had to apologize to him because that's frivolously spending money. Um, gratefully though, I can resell it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a My Father's World, an updated My Father's World kindergarten haul. Um, so what I'll be sharing with you today is the things that I purchased for Bam Bam's kindergarten, um, which will officially be starting here in a couple months. And he is starting a bit earlier than Bear did. I, I did not start Bear until he was already five. Um, and then I just had to move him along quickly because he sped through everything. But Bam Bam, I am starting him as suggested with Bear. I'm starting him quite a bit early um, before he turns five. And technically with his birth date, he wouldn't be able to go to kindergarten until he was almost six. So I'm definitely starting him early with him being four years old. I'm excited. They have done some updating and I'll show you the differences here in a minute. So this is the current edition of God's Creation from A to Z, Complete Kindergarten Curriculum offered by My Father's World. Um, since we started homeschooling, My Father's World has updated their, their preschool stuff now and all kinds of things. So I got the teacher's manual and the student sheets. So the update on the teacher's manual is that they have a new cover and a new layout. The um, original teacher's manual, which I found, Okay, and I will be selling um, the original teacher's manual. This is not it. This is a updated cover on the original teacher's manual. And oh my God, I got sticky notes in here and everything. <sighs> Guys, I'm I'm not gonna cry. I'm just, I cannot believe I'm still homeschooling. Okay, back to back to the video. Um, so this is the differences between the current editions. Um, this is the most recent 2017 released, February 2017 released edition, and this is an updated cover on the first edition. So the difference between the two is the weeks, the way the weeks go. So this is a six day week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. That's the way that went. And I was always so annoyed by that. And as you, um, if you've been following me for years, you've heard that in my review of the six day arrangement. I was so annoyed by that. We, j I just adjusted it on my own to a Monday through Friday thing. And we would just double up on some stuff. I'm grateful and thankful that my father's world picked up on that, um, from whoever they decided to listen to. And they have updated this manual with a five day a week. Um, so this is it. So. I right, it's because look what I found today, guys. My Father's World Kindergarten. Guys, I'm just... I cannot believe this. The, the How meticulous I was and keeping things. Everything looks pristine and new. Just like it did when I bought it. Um, I can't believe it, guys. I'm dead serious. So these are the A to, to Z alphabet flashcards. I have all 26 of them. Um, I remember buying this stuff to store it in and I was like, is this going to be big enough? Some of the stuff from the student sheets, um, like these lettering charts and stuff. I'm not sure if that's in the new one, but I have those laminated. So I'll be looking to see some of these laminated. Um, and then the scripture memory cards. I'm not sure if they updated those or not, but these I have because I wrote down the King James version on the back. Um, of the scripture for that week. So I will have to look and see if they're, these are the same or not. Then I'll include anything that I don't need that's old or that go correlates with the previous teacher's manual. I'll be including in that position, in that cell um, for that. So anywho, that's what we have now. The teacher's manual, the alphabet flashcards, and the scripture memory cards, all that stuff, the student sheets. The other thing that I have um, that I already owned that I pulled out of storage are these Cuisinart rods. I bought these for Bear. I got this on a good resale group. Um, actually, Yahoo groups. Do you guess? They still have Yahoo groups. This lady sold this. 
the wooden blocks and the clock for first grade and some other stuff first grade for like $15 shipped. I was like, girl, I don't know what you're going through, but I'm grateful. It's all brand new, never touched. Sometimes people just want to get stuff out of their house. Um, so I bought that from her and, um, I got the Cuisinart Alphabets book. I believe I got this from Amazon years ago, but I have already taken the pages apart years ago, broken it down and laminated them so you can pull them out. So I will be able to use this. And yes, I still have all 155 Cuisinart rides. So don't ask me why I bought the class set. I will tell you why. Because I was like, we're going to have a slew of children in here to teach. I'm not going to be just teaching one child. I bought these on faith. I bought them on faith. Don't do that. Just buy what you need. But I still have all of them. I count them twice a year when I disinfect them. And they're all in here. The kids know they don't even need to be playing with them unless mama's so The inflatable globe. We play with this. I'm not sure if this can still hold air. But these are so cheap. You, I bought mine on eBay years ago. I think I got like two of them for 2 or $3 shipped. So if this doesn't hold air, which I'll have my oldest blow it up here in a little bit, then I believe I have one more left or I'll just get another one from eBay. But you can also get these from my father's world, Mardell, things like that. Say hello to classical music. I, yes, I've had this this whole time. I didn't even realize I had right, it. So when I was talking to my husband in the back about the mistake I had made, um, he was like, well, you remember you said that you were going to keep that stuff for your next child. And I was like, what? I don't even remember saying that, guys. So I'm excited. Next is the literary items. I do know I have several more of these books. I don't have all of them, but I remember buying the ones that I could not get at my local library. So I have I Am a Leaf. Um, I Am Good at Being Me, I believe, is one of the suggested books. It's not necessarily on the literary thing, but I believe this is one of the suggested books for this year or next year. But this book right here is The Bomb. Um and Moonbear Shadow. And I know I have a couple of ones like the Maple Farm book and the year around a year and a year book or so I don't remember. Anyways, I know I have a couple more. I don't necessarily think that you need to buy all the books unless you are not close to a library that has them. Um but like I'm not in your pocketbook, I'm not in your homeschool budget, I'm not in your house. So don't take my word for it. But we don't buy the all the literary items. I just remember buying those because our libraries didn't have that. We have moved since then, so we are actually around several libraries and our book, you know, our opportunities to gather books are um, have improved and we have vast opportunities now. So hopefully I'll be able to catch those and reserve the ones that we need. So that's it for the official My Father's World items. So next, uh, let's get into the rest of kindergarten. We are currently working through Teach a Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. That's pretty much our summer. This and another workbook that I will be reviewing um, for my job. But Teach a, Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. I have a video on this. I have reviews on this on my blog. I gift this to young mothers um, or, or, or mothers or husbands, whoever, that are teaching their children to read. Even if they're in school, I always say, hey, let me send you a book. You know, it's something that you can do with the house. Let me just go ahead and send you one. And I will always send them a copy of this book. Worksheets that have been given to us years ago. I cannot believe I still had this. I remember when we were gifted these things. And I remember saying, I'm going to keep a set for my kids. So these worksheets will be good, not just for Bam, if I use them to practice, because he has several workbooks over here. But these will be good for tag-along siblings. So Princess, she's like, I want to do it too. Okay, you can do it too, because we have these. I found this kindergarten folder, which has some of the stuff from my father's drawer in it as well. Also, with the some of the pledges as well. And some Bible studies, like Kids of Integrity Bible studies I had printed The next out. thing I wanted to share with you was this Clifford Phonics reading program. This was actually gifted to us when Bear was learning how to read. And it's from my uh, mother-in-law. So it has like all these books and all kinds of stuff in here. I don't know why these books aren't in here. Hmm. So I'm going to be using these as we are teaching, as I am teaching and Bear is helping to uh, perfect Bam Bam's reading. So I went ahead and pulled those from my stash of awesomeness. Next up is this complete book of time and money. This is not used in my father's world, I believe, until the next year. I want to say first grade. Sometimes people use this. Um, but I like to incorporate some of the things that are in here to help. So we will be pulling from this um, towards the end of the year. A nice whiteboard. This will be used on a daily basis for the most part. 
practicing manuscript and lettering and um, understanding the importance of it's okay to make mistakes and erase them. There are so many things you can use this for. Grab those at any Dollar Tree, but this correlates well with every curriculum ever, even for older kids. This is a fun preschool skills book and it includes magnets and all that stuff. So I remember buying this when uh, Bear was in kindergarten and we used this in the beginning of the year. So we'll be using this for Bam as well. They love Little Einstein's. Princess especially loves Little This Einstein. is a really fun book to help teach rhyme and opposites. Um, I remember buying two of these. I used one when Bear was in kindergarten. So I have one more left and I will be using this with Bam Bam. They make a pink um, girly version of this. So I will snag that for Princess next time they have them out at Dollar Tree. This next thing are some kindergarten and pre-K, I believe. Um, scholastic books. The kindergarten scholastic books that I'm showing you here, these were gifted to us by my mother-in-law and we will be using these with Bam. I have had these for a couple of months now. I just haven't touched them because we were finishing up the year and I don't, I don't want to, I love to open up new stuff and start using it and it's not necessary and I didn't want to do that with these. So now that we have some time off, I'm going to open them, look, and see how I can incorporate them into what we are learning with my father's world. So that's something else we'll be supplementing with. And last two things. The first being this old school, uh-oh, storybook treasury, Dick and Jane. OMG. OMG. This is good for beginning readers. And I mean, come on now. You can't. You can't get enough of this. Run, Spot. Okay, come on now. You remember these. I adore these books. I cannot remember who gave this to me. Yes, I still have it. And yes, we'll be using this with Bam Bam. And then last but not least, this is from my little sister. Um, I don't even know if she knows we have this, but this is her um, kindergarten math book. And I'll be using this to pull from for math worksheets for... Um, bam, so that's what we'll be using for math. It's colorful, it's old school. Um, so I'm excited. But that's it, guys. That is our kindergarten curriculum. Mainly the My Father's World stuff and anything else that I want to print out because there are some days that we run through stuff so fast they do need some, a little something else to do. And that will be anything from schoolhouseteachers.com. The great thing about kindergarten, especially with My Father's World, kindergarten is short and quick. It'll take you about 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes max. Should I mean it doesn't take long to hit it and hit it and move on. But that gives so much time for sensory play and imagination time and dress up time. Like there's so many things that you can do at that young age. And we're not ever gonna miss out on those opportunities. That's why I'm so excited to be homeschooling my children. I just look forward to a great year. But definitely I will be doing a review. Um, at the end of the year, mainly for the My Father, updated My Father's World I'm so stuff. excited, guys. Another year will be starting for us in a couple of months, and I'm I'm just ready. I'm just so grateful. I can't believe I have a, another child in the homeschool, and God is so good. He is so good, guys. So I will see you in the next video, all right? I've talked to them. <laughs> Bye.